In this video, I'll be taking a look at Turing Tumble, the marble game that teaches you how computers work without the need for a computer. It's great for developing your problem solving skills, as well as teaching coding strategy, binary and logic gates, where you can actually see what's going on, which you certainly can't with a real computer. Let's take a look inside the box. So once we remove the lid, which is beautifully designed I have to say, we have the main computer board, which is found under a sheet of paper for protection. There is a little assembly required, which I'll not show here, but you'll find the stand and some mechanical connectors which allow the marbles to be released underneath. Once I'd finished unboxing, it took me all of two minutes to set everything up. Finally, at the bottom of the box, we have the puzzle book with assembly instructions, the marbles, levers, and six different types of parts which allow you to construct your mechanical computer. Before we get going, I'd just like to tidy everything up. Now, isn't that better? The book follows Aaliyah, a space engineer who's sent to repair a communication satellite orbiting a small barren planet called ENIAC. When things go wrong, Aaliyah crash lands on the planet and discovers alien technology in the form of a mechanical computer system. The only thing is that the computer's broken and it's your job as Aaliyah to fix it. There are 60 challenges in the book which get progressively more difficult and we're introduced to the parts as they're required. First the ramp, which directs the balls in one direction. Then the crossover, which allows the ball to enter on one side and exit on the other. Bits store information by pointing either right or left, just as computers store information as a stream of ones and zeros. When the mechanical computer has completed its task, the interceptor stops it from releasing any more balls. Finally, we have the gears in red and the gear bits. The addition of these parts makes the mechanical computer Turing complete, which means if it was large enough, it could perform the processes of any real computer. Here's a quick example of one of the challenges. If both blue bits are pointing to the right, then the ball is caught in the interceptor on the left. Any other combination results in the ball being caught in the interceptor on the right. This is an example of computer logic, like so. In challenge 21, we're introduced to counting in binary. The first bit represents the ones, the second is the twos, the third is the fours, and the fourth represents the eights. A bit pointing to the left is zero, and pointing to the right is one. Having built electronic circuits that perform the same task, it's amazing to see it done mechanically, with the marbles cascading down the board like this. If you want to see more examples, then I'm afraid you'll need to buy your own Turing tumble. If you get stuck at any point, then you'll find solutions at the back of the book. You'll also find more challenges by going to community.turingtumble.com. So, if you found this video interesting, then why not give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you're made aware of when new ones are released. For now though, we'll see you later.